Jared Lindsay down here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and Happy New Year. It is early January 2020, and we're down here for our winter visit. We try to visit all four seasons in Gatlinburg because we just love being here. We love seeing just how different it is during the seasons, and this is our winter version. We wanted to get down before Christmas to see the snow people, but it didn't happen. It may not look like winter. It's actually a really nice day, nice and sunny and pretty warm. It's got to be at least in the mid-50s. Now, one of the things we want to do today is go into the Gatlinburg Arcade because they changed the name. This used to be the Pinball Museum. We're going to go in here and see if it's still the same place, basically. Well, this is a huge disappointment. Quite a bummer. They've actually changed to the Pinball Museum. They just added all these uh, redemption games that they have everywhere else in Gatlinburg. They still have at least a small section of their retro games, and they do still have some pinballs. But if you notice, they're not doing the wristband anymore. They just added those same little swipe things to this arcade just like every other arcade. Hmm. I guess the $15 play all day wristband uh, price modeling wasn't working for them. Do you remember this one? Dragon's Lair? I know it because uh, I do remember it, number one, as a kid. And I have played it, but I actually played it at Universal Studios because they had that out during Horror Nights for Stranger Things, remember? You forgot already? Oh, check it out, good news. The snow people are still all up here in Gatlinburg. I was worried I missed it because it's after Christmas, but I'm not sure how much longer they'll be up. But they're up today, so that's good. Looks like Old Red has another snow person slash pumpkin person this year. And his little puppy's back too. At first I thought the snow person was holding a popple. Remember those when we were kids, <laughs> the little popples? <laughs> I did too, sadly. <laughs> I guess I should probably explain exactly what a popple is since they were toys from the 80s, but they were basically a little stuffed animal that had like a pouch on its back and you could roll it up into a ball and cuddle with it and its little hair would stick out of the top of the ball. <laughs> I don't know, Lindsay, I. Now, while they have the snow people, I don't remember them having these little sleds. I've seen several of them around town. Are they new this year, or did we just not remember them? It's hard to say. Yeah. Just for fun, we're going to say they're new. <laughs> Back here in the old smoky moonshine distillery, they've changed the scene this year. Remember, last year they had like a little Santa Claus there yeah. spitting in a spittoon. But he's nowhere to be seen this year. He's your favorite little puppy in all of Gallenberg, huh? <laughs> a young little snow person and their doggy. Getting fried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd sit next to him, but it's uh, a little wet right there. Yep. Time for a little lunch today. We're looking for the New Orleans Sandwich Company. What an issue finding it. Still looking for the New Orleans Sandwich Shop, but this caught my eye, man. Look at this jack-o'-lantern. Right outside of the Mountain Carver's workshop. Oh, dude, they got some cool stuff in there. They got some Smoky Mountain Trolls, they're calling them. <laughs> they look like something out of, uh, I don't know, Labyrinth or Dark Crystal or something. All right, Santa, where's this restaurant at, man? I'm really hungry. So we're having a debate as to whether or not that means those are up here, because I don't think the New Orleans Sandwich Company is. Here we go. Now it's on the first floor, all the way in the back. Let's go. We're in here. We're packed in here. It's pretty tight, but it's a really cool looking restaurant. This is pretty much it. It's a really small spot. You're pretty much looking at everything. It's pretty cool in here. I like it a lot so far. A little Mardi Gras mask there. The Mardi Gras real soon at Universal Studios, February 1st. We'll be there. And then real Mardi Gras in New Orleans is coming up as well. Got all these dollar bills on the wall colored. Check out those tables over there, Lindsay. Those are a really cool looking design. Oh, yeah. I wish I had a couple of those for out on the deck. Lindsay and I ordered a cup of chicken and sausage gumbo to try. I don't think Lindsay has ever had real gumbo before, have you? Are you excited? Yeah. Let's try it. it. Smells really good. Looks like it's potentially spicy. But that's Very fine. <laughs> It is too spicy. <laughs> it is super good. It smells really good. I can smell it now that you're stirring it up. That's really good. I wish I had them all of it. Jaden, what are you doing? That is really good. Try it. And Lindsay going in there. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. 
Mm. It's hot, but what do you think? Look at that piece of chicken and the gumbo. Man, this is really, really good gumbo. Let's see if I can get a spoonful of some of the other stuff to show you. Look at that. Fried okra, rice, There's some peppers in there. Super delicious. So some of the sandwiches are rolling in. What did you get, Jake? What was the name of yours? Fat Tuesday, poor boy. Open that up real quick, see what it is. What's it got on it? Ham and cheese and tomato. Oh, there you go. I got the roast beef, uh, Bourbon Street roast beef. Bourbon Street roast beef, oh boy. There's gravy on it. Mm -hmm. They've got the Cajun burger. I'm not sure what was on it. It didn't really give me a description. Looks good though. And finally, Katie's sandwich it's in, which is way larger than anything she's ever gonna be able to eat. What was it called now? It's a Bywater Club, I think. Okay, triple decker, lettuce, <laughs> tomato, bacon, turkey, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a BLT, but yeah. with extra stuff. It looks delicious. And little guy got some chicken tenders, but they look like they got a little bit of Cajun spice on them. She seasoned the oh. fries, I don't know about the chicken. I think the little fire pit right there in the middle is an extra nice touch for this place. It's really cool. It's like Mardi Gras. What you got going on there? They give you some Mardi Gras beans? I guess I left the restaurant too soon, huh? <laughs> you did. You missed out. <laughs> yeah, we didn't show us eating the sandwiches because it was so tight in there. Like it was, yeah. it was pretty tight, so it was hard to kind of film and eat. But what'd you think of yours? I you had a roast really beef. Yeah, it was roast beef and gravy and, and all the dressings on it, the tomato and lettuce. Okay. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah, and I got a burger. It was um, it was pretty much just a burger, but it was a really good burger. Yeah. And when I when I mean by that is I mean it wasn't like a like yours seemed like a special sandwich. Mine was a burger on a sub, but it was really good. It was a really good burger for sure. Yeah. So I would highly highly recommend coming to New Orleans Sandwich Company. Oh, I loved the gumbo too. That we did to kind of taste on camera, but that was some excellent gumbo. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, I believe I overheard them talking in there that they are from Louisiana too. So that was some authentic Louisiana food. Check it out. Very good. It's a little bit off the beaten path. I'll have to show you how to get here real quick. Well, that's weird. I'm finishing up lunch and walking out here, and I don't know what happened. The weather changed drastically. It is now hailing and raining. In order to get to the New Orleans Sandwich Company, what you're going to want to do is find the Baskin Square. It's easy to find because it's directly across the street from the village and the pancake pantry. And once you find the Baskin Square, you're just going to go all the way back there. I can't believe I missed it initially. Now <laughs> it's like pretty obvious that that's where it is. Just out kind of walking on the parkway here and I noticed this Sasquatch. He looks like potentially he's a porch pirate. What'd you steal there, Squatch? All right, I want to know who trampled the poor penguin. Fess up. They went crashing through the woods there. Didn't see little Chili Willy and crushed him. Whoever it was, looks like he came over here next and trampled this imposter snowman as well. Hmm, I think I got a lead. I think it was these two. Double clothesline and everything. Knocking out all the imposters. You were the only two real snow people up here in the Reagan Terrace Mall, huh? Was that your plan? There's another little snow person here holding a snow person. <laughs> and he's giving him a little head massage for doing it, huh? <laughs> this one is the same spot that the pumpkin people that were very similar were in, isn't it? That's true. Man, Lindsay, it doesn't know what it wants to do out, well, does it? Now no. it's starting to kind of like it's snow. snow. Yeah, it was gray, <laughs> got sunny and kind of nice, then really windy and rainy, and then it started sleeting, then it got sunny again, and now it's basically snowing, I would say. Yeah. This little dude behind us is mocking me. He's like, ha ha ha. So it's either snowing or he's dripping dandruff on us. <laughs> well, I guess it truly is going to be a winter fest now <laughs> with the snow. It's like a really wet, painful snow too. Oh, these little dudes are fun. You got a little snowman golfer and little Lindsay gnome there dressed up as Santa Claus. <laughs> that was there last year, remember? No. 
Oh, I do. I think I, I'm pretty sure I remember it. What I may not have noticed last year, though, are these little top hats or frosty hats. As some people would know them. Looking pretty good back here. I'm gonna have to do something about getting out of this snow, though. A little bit sad looking at Christmas decorations in January, isn't it? Not because they're not cool or anything, just to. Uh, because Christmas is over. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Winter fest is. No, it is not. This snow dude looks like he's ready to give Lindsay a great big gigantic hug. You know the other thing I've noticed, this guy's got stick arms. I have noticed some of the snow people have snow arms. Oh yeah. It's a little sucker snowman again. <laughs> but you know what? When we were here in the fall right here, because we're right in front of the mountain mall, they had this whole area filled up with an elaborate fall display. Yeah. Doesn't look like they were gonna do that at all for winter, does it? No. Instead they're just gonna get the, uh, get the little kid that's shocked his mother actually got him a sucker. <laughs> Ducked inside the mountain mall for just a second to get out of the snow slash rain. And we found this little display right on the inside. We especially like the little waterfall there that made out of material. We found another one of those sleighs, except this one's being pulled by some reindeer. Looks pretty cool. Oh, and look right there on the ledge behind them. Man, it's really coming down now. See what I mean about the arms? Like, that snow person's got regular snow arms. I love how they move these little dudes around every single year. So our little menu reading friend here is in front of the villages this year. To head over here to Ripley's because I noticed last time I was here, they had the most of the pumpkin people. So I want to see if they've kind of done the same thing and confiscated the majority the snow people here in Gatlinburg. It's a giant ice bear. I don't know if it's the majority of them this time, but they do have quite a few of them up here again. I wonder if uh, Ripley's provides these or something, because they always seem to have the most of them. And here we have Snowmanzilla. So I don't know if Ripley's takes the most, but as you can see up there by his hat, they take the biggest. I take back what I said. The Greystone Lodge next door to Ripley's has the largest snowman. And look at that. I think the little dude up there did not pay attention whatsoever to that sign. Lindsay ducked back in here into the a village earlier to do some shopping and I moved on elsewhere into Gallenberg. Now I gotta try to find her. I'm really hoping leaving her alone unattended hasn't cost me a ton of money. Look at this little fountain got flames coming out of the top of it again. Ever since they put this new one in, this is the first time I've caught it where it's actually got the flames again. I was worried that they'd replace the old one with it. just a boring old standard flameless fountain. Well, I found her back here in the village and she didn't buy anything. She didn't find anything she wanted, so I lucked out for now. <laughs> I was looking though. I'm sure you were. I've seen some things. <laughs> <laughs> it always looks so good back here. This is up towards the top of the villages. I'm loving the little Christmas decorations. Well, I guess not really Christmas decorations, winter decorations. You know what I want? What do you want? I would like a nice hot coffee. Dude, it's like seven o'clock at night. I'm not buying a coffee. Yeah, that's right. I got a coffee anyway. Yeah, it seems to be how it goes. You ask for something, I say no, and you do it anyway. <laughs> I don't even know why you ask. I have zero power. <laughs> hey, what though? I did notice while you were standing there with your coffee. <laughs> This cool little lamp post, how it's decorated. But look at this, man. That should be right up your alley. A little Christmas uh, owl, or winter owl, we'll call it. I like his Coke bottle eyes. Is that what they are? Oh, yeah, they are. They're giant bow caps. <laughs> They're so cute. Every time I'm back here, I say this, but it, it just warrants saying it's worth it. I love this place. I love these little style of buildings. All these little shops. Although they do seem to close. Ooh, the honeypot's not closed. We're going to go in there. But a lot of these seem to close early because it's only like 6, 6.30. Yeah. Look at these silly little mugs. Actually, I, th I think this one <laughs> might be my favorite. <laughs> I don't know, I like I don't know what's going on with that. Nah, see, that's too too bold. That little thing, like, I don't know if it's a <laughs> smile or a mustache or if he's fell and bonked his head. That was a cute little shop in here. The warming? Oh man, I don't want to say anything because what happened with that cup of coffee? Warming in a microwave. Yeah, we have something similar to this at home, a couple different things. 
little rice bags, warm them up, put them on sore muscles. So oh, look at this, a boo bear. Remember we used to have a boo boo bunny? Yes. Put a little ice cube in it for your oh my gosh. children to put on their <laughs> boo boos. <laughs> oh, there is a boo boo bunny right here, look. All kinds of them. You handmade that boo boo bunny we had. Yeah, out of a washcloth. Wow. <laughs> Little crap sock. <laughs> Alright, I think I've had enough of the honey pot that oddly enough sells no honey. <laughs> and leave it to these goobers to find a photo op, especially a cute little ice bear. Back to our little tiny house here. Still not sure what it exactly it is. Probably a Santa photo op. I don't know if you can go in here. Nope, you're not allowed in there. They probably were doing like Santa meet and greets or something earlier, but check out those marshmallows in there. It's pretty cool, man. Back in front of the little drummer thing here in Anakisa, I hadn't noticed it earlier, but all the little drumsticks have been broken off. I wonder if that was uh, somebody broke them off or maybe they preemptively busted them off so people wouldn't mess with them. As I hope nobody would have destroyed them. Well, we had no idea earlier today that the tree was going to be doing this as far as lights go. Really like that a lot. It's probably my favorite tree here this year. Oh, we missed these little guys earlier. This is right by the Anakista chairlift. Couple little snow guys building a little fort. A little bit better shot of that tree over there at Anakista. Got some really nice looking lights on some of these trees up here too. Well, this one looks really good up close too. Those artificial leaves. Those look pretty nice. Pretty good looking for a fake tree. Here's another one. We need to get one of these for our house, Lindsay. That way they never die. <laughs> Just stick it out in the front yard. The real nice shot of Anakista from across the way. I'm standing right here in front of Ripley's Aquarium. These are two attractions right here, right across from one another that you could spend a good day and a half alone doing in Gatlinburg. No, this tree does not disappoint at night, that's for sure. Get up here and get a little bit closer look at some of the stuff. Avoid this guy's snowball that he's about to chuck at us. So we can get a little bit closer to this tree. Pretty tall. Not the tallest I've seen this season, but uh, it's up there. This particular snow person has like the longest arm I've ever seen, man. Yeah, no, I learned my lesson earlier. You're not baiting me this time. Well, that's gonna do it for us today in our wintertime video here at Gallenberg, Tennessee. So, what a great time, man, I loved it. We didn't do it before yeah. Christmas, but I'm happy to see all the snow people were still out and all the decorations are up. I'm not sure when they take them down. I don't know if it's into January or if they run through mid-February or what the deal is, but pretty happy we got to see it, huh? Yeah, me too. So, thanks for watching.